Mr. Bariano, can you please show us your, your card? And can you tell us who you're working for and what your function is? Yes, Regional Director for UN Habitat in charge of Africa and the Arab states. Okay, you're here at the, at the um, uh, international event around World War today. Uh, what are you passionate about? My passionate about water is much related to the sanitation part. In UN Habitat, water is life indeed, but sanitation is dignity. And because of that, our work in the region is trying to fill the gap related to sanitation part. As you know, in Africa, many women do not have access to public toilets because of the dignity part. Often they wait late in the evening before they can reach that point and ease themselves. And often it is related to risk, health risk of course, but also security risk. And because of that, we have been very much involved in more than 14 countries in the region, working in 19 cities. And this work has led us to bring more girls at school. As you know, the school enrollment in Africa for girls is, has been very low. But UN Habitat, by working with schools, on water value-based education in bringing more young girls because we are putting more sanitation and more water kiosks into the schools. In which countries or which cities have your programs been taken up and, and uh, with committed leaders? Absolutely. Uh, I give you the case of Senegal, Dakar, Bamako, Mali, but I think we have been much successful in Accra, Ghana, where we have been able to assist many schools by putting up water kiosk and sanitation kiosk. And those are facilitated. Many girls to come back to school and also to fulfill, because I'm telling you, if it wasn't that, many girls would be out of. And that water school is not just for the school, but it in touches, it enlarges the communities that are around the school. So value-based water education is a way to teach parents how they will accept that the girls can go to school but also value can be respected in teaching them value in school, water values in school. How many schools are we talking about then in the case of Dakar, for instance? Do Dakar you know? in Senegal, we are working into different communities. Over 10 schools have been touched over there in the community called Pekin in Senegal. In Ghana, the same numbers in different communities in the cities. So even here in South Africa, where everything has started with the Minister Kader Smal, was Minister of Water over here and later Minister of Education, we have been very happy to elevate water in terms of value, not commodity. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much and I wish you good luck with this program. Thank you.